What's up, YouTube? I uh, wanted to talk about the blacklist a little bit. I haven't really spoken about that all that much here. Um, uh, last night's newest episode was called Lady Luck, um, the most current uh, blacklister. Um, this episode furthered the storyline um, of the blacklist. I think the blacklister was a way to get to Henry who knew a little bit about the the level 13 group that's a sa uh, plotting something against the United States at this point is kind of what they're trying to solve, who's doing it and why and what's going on and all that stuff. Um, but um, he was on Red's team, so I'm not sure that um, you know we necessarily needed this blacklister. She just happened to be there, and I think it was just a plot device to keep... Uh, to keep the FBI finding somebody and then having Red do his own thing because this also serves as a, a little bit more story for Red uh, and Dembe to try and figure out who sold Red out and, and sent him to jail. Um, at this point in the show, if you've been watching, uh, you know that was obviously Agent Keen and her sister. Um, at the time when they wanted to figure out who Red really was, because apparently he's not really the Raymond Reddington that everybody thinks he is. Um, but that's kind of a convoluted story at this point. Um, but there's three storylines going on in this episode. The one, first one is the Blacklister. Um, again, Lady Luck. Uh, the show starts with a bunch of thugs in a warehouse. They're they're disputing over some missing TVs or something like that, and Henry, one of the one of the main shippers, he's in charge of the uh, the manifest, I think is what they said. Um, he's not there, and so there's some missing things and blah blah blah. Uh, Red ends that kind of scuffle with some alcohol, and kind of everybody goes their own way. But that propels us into the blacklist, um, the blacklister, uh, Lady Luck finds Henry because he's an addict, a gambler addict, um, and he's gambled away his home, his, uh, his wife's uh, engagement ring, he's done a lot of stuff, and Lady Luck purports to be able to solve that problem uh, if he does her one favor, which we come to find out is killing somebody. Um, while he's doing that and she pays him, she hires another gambler to shoot and kill this other gambler, Henry, the original gambler, um, and that's how the cycle kind of keeps going. So she'll hire, it seems at that point that she's just helping family. She could care less about the gambler, um, which you find out later in the, in the episode why, but it seems like she's trying to save the families from the gambler's nonsense. So she'll pay the gambler um, once he does whatever she wants him to do, He'll go pay off his debts, his family set, and then she'll hire somebody to kill that guy. And then she'll pay that person their debts and so on and so forth. Um, you figure out that the reason this is all going out is this older lady, who is Lady Luck, um, she was giving birth to her daughter. Um, they'd already had a son. Uh, she was giving birth to the second kid, the daughter. Um, and at that time, the husband, while she's giving birth, leaves the hospital to go gamble. Um, during that, he gets into an accident with the son that they already have, um, who was uh, still still an infant. Um, the son dies, and the dad ha can't move anymore; he's paralyzed. Um, so the wife, after giving birth to the daughter and kind of going forward thinks that gambling is a cancer it's 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 something that can't be fixed and so she's trying to call as many gamblers as possible through the method of just paying one off killing him paying him off killing him and all that stuff um so that's kind of the blacklist storyline through the whole episode they finally catch up uh to the mom um the daughter told uh the fbi agents that she thought her dad was dead um which he wasn't. The mom had kept the dad alive this whole time, kind of torturing him and just being a, a dick to him, because um, she felt resentment because he had skipped and skipped town to not skipped town, but he had skipped the birth of his daughter to go gamble and ended up killing his son. Um, but the dad is alive, um, and they end up uh, arresting 
after you know a series of events of touching base with families and and you know finding her at a, her car and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> they end up finding the blacklister she tries to kill the dad um, who is paralyzed because um, she shuts off electricity to the house that they're in and he's hooked up to some machine and so but at the end of the day the dad is alive but the daughter um, who seems to not know anything at this point goes to talk to her mom um, the mom and, and her kind of look like they reconcile a little bit and then plot twist at the end of the episode the daughter does know what the mom was doing and she wants to carry out the same plans so I, I read a comment today uh, from an article uh, that, that named her and then uh, you know the the blacklist because it's always if you haven't watched a show it's always the blacklist that comes up the name of the blacklister and then the number that they are on the list and somebody had put the name and the number and a half because the mom was the main number that was I thought that was kind of funny um, but so seems as though the daughter's gonna carry that out maybe we'll you know that'll be a plot a plot line will follow some other time it may just fall off who knows but that's kind of the main main uh, blacklist pot, plot line for the blacklister so she's killing gamblers uh, they find her daughter seems to be in on it or at least know about it and is gonna carry that kind of forward but they found her um, the second plot twist or the second plot line is with Henry obviously because they found him alive barely um, he almost got shot and killed um, and Keen asks him about the I think it's the seventh layer I think it's the I can't remember the the about the organization that is plotting to uh, attack America um, she gets her information but that whole uh, storyline was served just so that she could interrogate him and get information about the organization uh, which they didn't re reveal too much about so that was obviously a shorter storyline because he was involved in in the murder and he was dealing with the, the lady luck and all that stuff kind of beforehand and then the third plot line is wrestler trying to find Rostova um, agent Keen's mother um, he had promised Agent Keen to let it go, but he can't, it seems as though, because um, he wants to know who Reddington really is. Um, he has been, uh, he's been trying to find, catch Reddington pre the show existing and pre Reddington being on the, on the team, or leading the team, I guess. Um, he had been trying to find Reddington for years and years, and so I think he feels like it's his duty. He has to know who it is, and so he's going behind Keen's back to to try and figure it out. And so they think that finding Keen's mom, uh, Rostova, um, would be the the way to do it through a manifest of a boat that Rostova was supposedly on. They think they find her, but they actually think at the end of the day that they found. Um, her mother, Rostova's mother, so Keen's grandmother, um, and that's kind of where it ended because we don't they ha they didn't go visit her yet. I'm guessing that's going to be in the next episode. So, um, but that storyline is going to come to a head because with everything because Red's storyline about finding um, who turned him in because um, he's he when he went to jail, people started kind of freelancing and doing their own things, and so some of this episode is dedicated to him finding those people and either making them you know making some kind of punishment by either uh, upping however much money they're contributing to to his organization or he was killing them um, and that's gonna that led into you know with that plot line eventually he wants the person who has information about who turned him in to stop him from killing people and come tell him and so we know that Dembe knows that it was Keen who turned him in um, and so it's kind of a weird little little thing because uh, because Reddington trusts Dembe with everything um, so it's it's kinda of crazy but eventually Reddington is gonna find out that Keen turned him in he's gonna find out that Dembe didn't tell him um, you know it sounds like this season we're gonna learn all of that it sounds like this season we're gonna learn who Reddington really is which means that um, that Agent Bressler is probably going to find Rostova or her mom or something to that effect and that's going to kind of come back as well um, plus I'm guessing we're going to find out what's going on with the plot to attack America um, so there's a lot of stuff going on in the show right now there's a lot of different plot lines that you got to follow and they kind of intertwine with each other um, 
I I enjoy everything as you've probably learned as you're watching all of these. Um, but I it, Blacklist is one thing that when it comes out, I usually try and watch it right away because it is something that I've been watching almost since the beginning. Um, I think I've missed maybe half a season or something like that. But I'm excited for where this is going to go. If you're watching, um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments somewhere. If you watched last night's episode or if you watched the, the previous seasons or kind of what you have to look forward to in the future. Um, leave us a comment. Hit us up at facebook.com uh, slash thinking outside the long box. Outside the long box at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 970-573-6148 on Twitter or on Instagram at outside long box. Um, I think that's everything. Hopefully you like the blacklist. Hopefully you're doing something fun today. Go do something fun today. Have a great day. See you guys later.